Natalie Grant says many American churches are blinded by religion. She says God's presence must be mad now. Christian singer Natalie Grant believes some American churches have allowed religion and politics to lead them, and her message to believers is that now isn't the time to be legalistic, but instead to press into the presence of God. Grant released her 10th studio album, No Stranger, on Friday and says her new music is a collection of songs focused on her revelation that God's presence is the answer to everything needed in this world today. No Stranger is a collection of songs created by Grant and her husband, Grammy Award-winning songwriter and producer Bernie Hearns, who produced the record. The 11 songs are orchestral arrangements composed by her husband, who co-wrote half of the album's tracks. The singer insists that God shows himself to everyone who seeks him. Grant says he is not a stranger to anyone that is where the expression for her album title came from. The mother of three and cancer survivor said her visible scar on her neck serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness. Grant's prayer is that through her music, people would be reminded that he is known to them too. The new single, Face to Face, along with a Dove-nominated collaboration with Steve Malcolm titled Even Louder and Worship Anthem My Weapon, are all included in the No Stranger album. The following is an edited transcript of Graham's interview with a Christian. Talk about the title No Stranger. What does that mean? So, um, you know, I think one of the things that, um, and a scripture from, from the Psalms that really, you know, I've known it for, I feel like my whole life, but sometimes the, the Bible, it comes alive to you in different ways, depending on the season that you're in, in life, right? And for me, that scripture where he says, who am I that you are mindful of me? yet you made us a little lower than the angels and you crowned us with glory and honor. And I think I had a, just a, this like revelation in his presence. One, his word is life. Like, like I cry just, just thinking about it or speaking about it because the word of God is life. Like it is, it is everything that we need. And when you get yourself in the word, even like for somebody that may be listening to this or seeing this, that's like, I don't understand it, or I don't even know where to start. You know, a, a prayer that God will always answer, show me who you are in your word. He will always answer that prayer. It's like a prayer he'll always honor. And there's a, you know, a story from Exodus where Moses says, God, show me your glorious presence. Another prayer that he will always answer. When you ask the Lord, show me your glorious presence. And for me, oftentimes that's through his word. And so this understanding and a reawakening in my life of, wait a second, who even am I? that like I'm just a mere mortal that God could literally just just one ounce of his breath could return me to dust right I mean I think that sometimes this understanding that God is our best friend and that he loves us and that he's close um we have to be careful to not remove him from his throne to put him on a love seat if that makes sense like sometimes I think that we make him so cuddly and so like our little BFF that we put the king of the universe on a love seat <laughs> instead mm -hmm. of the throne.